As always, now it's time for some breaking news. All right, all right, all right, everybody. Okay, so breaking news today. We're going to dive into some things as we always do here. So the first thing I want to talk about is King of the Hill. All right, King of the Hill is coming back to Hulu. It's happening, everybody. This is going down, which is kind of crazy. Um, so Hulu's saying yes to King of the Hill, bringing a new season back. All the original cast are coming back. All the original voice actors are going to be there, and they're doing another season. So Mike Judge is like, hell yeah, bring it on. That cast is probably super excited because I would be if I were them, right? Getting a chance to do it again. Well, they're saying yay. We also have a nay. So CBS is saying no more Dr. Phil. No more Dr. Phil after two decades. This will be their 21st season they're on right now. CBS is saying that's enough. We're canceling Dr. Phil. There's been some controversy with him lately. So they're saying let's just, you know, dust our hands off of this whole situation. Let it be. Move on and say goodbye to Dr. Phil. So Dr. Phil is going away, everybody. And with Dr. Phil going, Hulu is also saying yes. They said yes to King of the Hill. They also say yes to Futurama. That's right. Futurama is coming back. Futurama will be back uh, on Hulu. They're doing 20 episodes. It's going to be split in half, so 10 and 10, which is crazy. This is like the, I think the third reboot or the third revival of Futurama, which is a great show. It started in the 90s. I think the first run was 1999 to 2003, and then it separated, or then it you know stopped, and it was on Fox, and they went to Comedy Central for a while. That got canceled. Well, now Hulu, which is pretty much Fox and Disney is like, we're bringing Futurama back some more Bender, more fun. I love that show. It was a lot of fun. All the, the presidents and heads. That was like the greatest, some great, great comedy right there. So congrats to the, the fans and to the cast and crew of all the animators for Futurama. And also Ozzy saying no to touring. So Ozzy Osbourne is stepping down from touring. He just says he can't do it anymore. Right from Ozzy himself. Here's what he had to say about the whole situation. He said, my one and only purpose during this time has been to get back on stage. My singing voice is fine. However, after three operations, stem cell treatments, endless physical therapy sessions, and most recently, the groundbreaking Cybernix Hall treatment, my body is still physically weak. And he was actually saying, if you listen to his new album, you can tell that he's just not doing well because on that himself... He talks about, you know, being older and, and, and the pills and the pain. And that's something that he's got to deal with all the time. And he's saying that he just can't do it anymore physically. So after this, he's done. There's no more touring. Hopefully he still makes music. I heard a few of the songs on his new album. It's, they're pretty good. Uh, Patient Number 9 is a lot of fun, actually. It sounds like kind of old school Ozzy with, you know, a new kind of updated twist. So, yeah. So Ozzy saying no more. No more touring, guys. He's done. He can't do any more. He can't handling it. And as that's happening, well, we're saying yes to a season three of La Brea. So season three is kind of happening. That all the actors are signed up. They've been signed up on their contracts. They have ten episode seasons, but they're saying that this one they're going to do a little bit shorter version. They only want to do six episodes. This is something that's happening because of the writer strike, the pending writer strike, which we've talked about in the show. And I have some more stuff I want to talk about as I move on with this program. But because of the writer's strike, they're worried that there's going to be a big shutdown like last time, keeping these actors on contracts, paying them through a potential who knows how long strike. They're almost done with the show. So, like, you know, their arc's almost done. So let's just cancel it now and be done with it and not have to deal with this in the future. So, yeah, season three. Six episodes, and as I said, yay for that. Well, also no, because after that three of ep- those six episodes, they're saying they're going to cancel La Brea. So it's a great thing. They got three more. Or they got third season, three or six more episodes. But unfortunately, after those six episodes, it sounds like their arc will be done, and we will be saying goodbye to La Brea, which is done very well. And I'm kind of shocked when I first saw it came out, and you can see it all on Peacock right now if you want to. But I saw it and I was like, okay, so a tar pit opens up and it goes to a new dimension. It sounds kind of cool, but I watched like the first episode and then I, I lost, you know, I lost interest. But maybe I'll go back and watch it on the Peacock. We'll see. We'll see what happens. So as that's happening, uh, they were saying, no, goodbye, goodbye to La Brea. Well, 
Dave Batista, good old Dave, as I call him on the show, because we're friends. We're not. But maybe one day, I used to love Dave when I was a kid watching wrestling. And then his career, I followed his career throughout everything he's done in the entertainment industry. And it's been great to watch him thrive and grow. But Dave is saying yes. Dave is saying yes to my spy too, which is cool. Uh, the last strike took out some, yeah, it's true. It took out some great shows. That's the problem with the writer's strike before. If it happens again, which it's all signs are pointing to yay, that it's going to happen. Because if you look at it with, with the writer's strike before, same things were happening. The writers had a lot of problems. They can sit back and relax for a while. They have enough money to kind of live off that for a long time. So they can sit back and negotiate and wait. And it's the residuals things, everybody. Residuals are the problems. So if you look at, we, we had a breakdown before and Sabrina laid this out, is on an actual TV show. It's, it's so funny how it's, there's like this blur still that there's new media and there's actual regular shows, regular programming. Well, they're all the same, if you ask me at this point. They're all big-budget TV shows. But on regular prime time, you know, the residuals are insane. They're getting thousands of dollars as opposed to a small fraction of that for the streaming services because it's supposed to be different. It's supposed to be a, a completely different category. But it's not. It's real TV, everybody. But that's a whole thing we're going to get into some more in a little bit here. But Dave is saying yes. He's saying yes to a My Spy 2. He's super excited about it. He's wanted to do it for years. So it's happening. Him and the little girl are coming back. And it was fun. It was a fun little show. It's kind of like, it reminds me of like when The Rock did The Tooth Fairy. And I enjoy that a lot. But Dave is like, yes, let's do some more. And as he's saying yes, Peacock is saying no to their free, free ad tier. So this has happened since they actually launched. They said that the, the Peacock or the bird is free, they would say. That was their slogan. Well, not anymore. You used to be able to get Peacock for free. You can watch all their premium content for nothing. But now, and then there was another, you know, there was lots of ads for that, like a lot of ads. And you could pay the $4.99 or the $9.99 to have no ads. Um, but now they're saying, we're getting rid of the free one. Now, if you have the free one already, you're okay. You can still keep that for now, for now. But I, I guarantee that'll go away eventually because that's the way they work. That's the way they operate. You know, it's like, okay, we're going to try with this. But eventually they're going to try to get you on that $4.99 plan at least. You're still going to have ads, less ads. And the great thing about that is they'll do like a, like a two minute ad thing before a feature film and then you can watch the movie straight through so it's not that bad as opposed to on the free one right now you're getting bombarded with ads constantly so that's the question and whatever you want but peacock is saying no we're done with that we're gonna move on and we're not gonna have the free ad tier base anymore